Hello friends, welcome back to the Smart Excel. And in this new video, we are going to speak about the search options in Excel. So if you have any Excel file and you want to search certain words in a cell, then you need to have a formula for search option. So there is nothing a direct formula in search. And if you want to search the invoices, and get the report of the payments for the invoices then you can make this option feasible so i'm going to show you how to make this in excel formulas and power query so first we can have a find formula so in find you can't directly go and make a find so it will be like find and find the text So the text will be like invoice in double quotes. And comma. So within the text will be and start num. We can give it directly. So it gives you a value error. So now what you can do is you can make into a is number find is number and then you make this into a find and close double parenthesis now it gives you true or false so either it is there or not there so you can see there is no invoice here but when i try to drag this down it is there so you can give us any meaning for this by making an if condition like if the logical test is true then it is able download or else you can make it as leave it blank so when you pull it down you can see it's payable but the issue over here is when you try to scroll it down Till the end, you can see this is payable, but this is also an invoice. And here, it is not showing as payable. So, the only solution for this is this formula doesn't work for cases. So it doesn't understand case uppercase and lowercase. So it's case sensitive. Now, if you want to make this for a caps lock, you have to add one more OR condition, and that is going to be a lengthy formula. So I'll be showing you how we can can then we can just copy this again, and we can you can copy this Control C, and you can use an OR formula. And paste it now this or will have two logics this is one and logical two so this has to be separated so now this has become logical two this cannot become a logical two so i will be adding a so this is going to be one logical statement the value is true or value is false so now i'll be making this into uppercase any one of them so when i scroll it down and now you can see this has become payables it's in caps lock now it is getting the both the formulas now it is taking both the formulas and returning the correct value But do you re really require to write a lengthy formula as this one for just to find an invoice? Is it near? Is it necessary? So can we make this in a small and sweet way? Do we have any other idea how to do this? So definitely we can, instead of writing this much lengthy formula, we can change the formula in a shorter format. 
so what we can do is i can make another remarks and uh, these are the remarks for search and this is remarks for find so this instead of making this lengthy formula we can make a formula which is both case sensitive and it can be used in a single shot so instead of search uh, instead of instead of find we can make something as search the same thing find text so i'm asking for find text so in inverted commas i'll be making this as invoice begin text and start number is not actually required so i'll be closing the parenthesis so again it's giving a value error so same like this i will be using a is number adding an is number and this is the value i'm going to close the parenthesis so you can see it's being false so now you can see the payables already it is not it's case sensitive it's not case sensitive for any of this formula you can have a smaller formula in this manner now let's make this into a if condition if it's true it's going to be payable or if none i'm going to give it as it is So you can see the same formula is working, and you can see how in find you have to write a bigger format formula, and in search you can make this into a smaller one. So you can see the difference in the formulas over here. So this is the difference between find and search. Now again, there are chances that you will be missing certain elements. So i'm going to show you in the next video how to search for these this is also invoice but it's in a shorter format so how to have this also on board and what is the formula required for more multiple words i'm going to show you the same thing in my next video and i'm going to show you how to do the same in the power query codings um, m codes in power query also so this is a uh, I hope this video is useful and you got the logic behind the find and search the differences and uh, how this is going to impact and which is the better one is now you can decide it which is the better one if you want to write a big formula or a small formula and uh, I hope to see you in the next video please share this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon and give me your comments thanks for watching